Well, what's up, guys? Brandon and Princess Leia coming at you live with another episode of How to Make Lazy Cocktails at Home. Don't have to be fancy. Can just do it with stuff you have laying around. Sometimes, maybe with a little bit of shopping. But yeah, that's what we're doing. All right, so today we are doing, uh, we're gonna do an old fashioned because it's everybody's favorite. It's one of my favorites. It's super easy. And all you need is some booze. This is some really good booze. This is Angel's Envy. Shut up, shut up. Um, I like it a lot and my friends like it a lot. And it's good, honestly, by itself in a glass, but you can put, you can make stuff with it too. It's possible. Shut up, come on, take it easy. Um, either say Demerara or like a gum syrup, but you can also do just um, regular simple syrup. And then this, um, oh yeah, it's sugar and water. Um, you'll probably have to go to the store for these. You can actually get both of these things at Walmart um, or Total Wine or whatever. But you need some bitters. These are some pretty good go-tos. These go in a lot of drinks, but they are especially good in old fashions, okay? And then you need cherries, but you don't have to have them. This is actually an empty jar with a project uh, thing inside of it that we won't talk about, but these are the cherries that you go to the bar at, or uh, you go to the bar and they have these with old fashioned. So if you have ever wondered, they are Luxardo. Sometimes you'll hear them called filthy or um, maraschino cherries. Not no regular ass cherries. Then you need a glass. I totally paid for this glass. It's from Blind Goat. I 100% paid for this glass. Um, and then you need a spoon. Um, a stirring spoon or a, reg a regular spoon is good. And then, if you'd like, you have a jigger of some sort. Something to measure how much you're doing it in. Okay? Alright. First thing. Uh, let's do... Three dashes of each. So one, two, three of the orange bitters. One, two, three. More or less, depending on taste. Whatever. Put these caps on. They're super sticky, and that's annoying. Um, dude, I and I do just literally a bar spoon. And this is another thing to taste, but bar spoon or like an eighth of an ounce of simple syrup or demerara, or whatever. And then two ounces of your spirit. So let's do two ounces of Angel's Envy. Oh man, I'm about to kill this bottle. I'm about to have to get some more, doggies. Oh no. Um, oh, and then ice, for sure some ice. And you can be really fancy and you can add quarter ounce or a half ounce of booze at a time and you can add ice over time you just want to dilute it because there's literally nothing but booze and bitters and a little bit of little bit of sugar in there um, so take your time stirring it because otherwise you're gonna have a super hot drink or a, you know overly boozy drink you want it to be boozy, but you want it to be enjoyable and balanced. You want it to be nice and tasty. Some say stir it for 30 seconds. I'd say that's a pretty solid number. Um, I have some like silicone trays for like bigger ice cubes. You can get these for really cheap at Target or whatever. Um, I put my glass in the freezer. Shit! Almost dropped the whole thing. Let's just pretend we never saw that. We'll edit that out in post. <laughs> no, we won't. We're live, baby. Glass. Big ice rock. And then I guess if you're at home and you don't have bar tools and stuff like that, you can just kind of carefully hold the ice, like with your hand or with a spoon or whatever, it doesn't really matter. Um, 
Of course, we keep it real out here. Keep a nice um, strainer, one of these guys. We can use a julep. Shut up! Stop fighting! Use a julep strainer, anything. Just so you can pour it over. Nice, big, fresh block of ice. Come on, you guys! I'm on TV over here! They're just non-stop fighting. Jesus. Every time I come home, these two, going at it. Oh, now you stop, now that the camera's on. It's disappointing. All right, so now at this point, you pretty much have an old-fashioned. Um, but a lot of people like to have a little citrus oil on top. Actually, I kind of like to have some citrus oil on top. To be honest with you, you just need a little peeler. A peeler! And you need some citrus, classically with an old-fashioned orange, right? Let's take this guy. It's all about the grip, my friends. I like to put my thumb on it so I don't have, it's not just like floating around. If I do it like with a bottle grip like this, it sucks. I, I always cut myself or I, I mess up the peel. So put your thumb on the actual orange and you see I have like lots of fingers, ooh yeah. Lots of fingers on the actual peeler. And I just pull, you don't have to do it too hard, but I just pull my, um, my grabby fingers towards my thumb. You see? Here. And then I just pull it down like that. Okay? Um, <clears throat> if you'd like, you can kind of express the orange oil over it. You just kind of split it in half, like so. Like you're gonna roll a nice little jizzy joint, babies. And you just squeeze it over like that. Get a little bit of orange oil. I've never said joint like that, so I apologize. Anyways, I digress. A little bit of orange oil around there. Like so. If you wanna get real fancy, you can like Twist it. There you go. And then you can rub the glass too. It's nice to put some on the glass. Make it nice and citrusy. That first taste will be loud, baby, loud. So I'm out of I'm out of cherries, but normally put a cherry in there too. And there you have it, boys and girls. Good old old fashioned. Cheers. Thanks, you guys.